Young minds are brimming with creativity. And if given an opportunity, they come up with imaginative ideas. And one such idea surfaced from one of Bengaluru's colleges. Did you ever imagine that you could actually tour 13 countries without a passport or visa? These students convince you that you can. How do they do that? Take a look. The students of Jane College decided to create a new experience for themselves, their teachers, the guests, and anyone who visited their college. They decided to turn their college into a slice of our world, virtually. They picked 13 countries and turned 13 classrooms in their college into a country each. If you visit any of these classrooms, you will feel you are visiting that country. And no passport or visa needed. No flight tickets, no hassles. Thirteen classrooms, thirteen countries. Chile, Finland, Jamaica, Ireland, Morocco, Nigeria, Philippines, Poland, the Netherlands, Turkey, UAE. Culture, tradition, economy, technology, history, architecture, dance, sports, singing. They explode every facet of each selected country. A slice of the world under one roof. Every nook and corner of the classroom would make you feel that you were in one of those countries like Ireland, Finland or some other exotic location, vacationing free of cost. Take a look at these dancing Irish. We are sure you will too sway to their tunes. free tour across 30 nations. They display the country's culture, economy and technology within the four walls through paper projects, dance, skits and other interesting activities. The students of management came up with this theme of a 13 country tour as a part of International Management Day on their college campus. Learning about the world by creating a slice of it. Students gain some hands-on experience. Teachers, judges and even outsiders were invited for the IMD event. Here is what one of the teachers shared. So I am making this tour across the globe and uh, we have selected uh, 13 wonderful countries uh, for our students to depict its uh, rich culture, tradition, economy and finance and its banking. Uh, everything that is very relevant to their course scholastic activities and uh, I'm sure this deepens their learning and it gives them the experiential edge uh, you know to deepen their understanding of the countries because all these students are going to go and uh, conquer the world of business. Name anything that you want to see, experience or even taste and these students would switch their magic wand and get it for you. Let's take a peek into these transformed classrooms. In the land of Irish, visitors are welcomed with the Irish coffee. While in UAE, dates were offered marking the country's specialty. The students dressed as the Arab natives present the replica of Burj Khalifa in the UAE segment. <music> students representing Nigeria made efforts to learn the native language and welcomed their visitors with words in the local language. <laughs> It was a pleasant surprise for those who entered the Netherlands. 
and had a chance to take a selfie with real parakeets. The transformed classrooms looked so real that the visitors were lost in the mood and the surrounding that they felt as if they were truly on the land of Ireland. The students also created small presentations on the economy of each country through 3D projects and were seen explaining to the judges the businesses run in those respective countries. The tour along the classroom countries. As you head from one classroom to the other, it is like a tour through 13 countries, free of cost. Here is what Komal, a student, has to say about the tour. Obviously, I feel good because we always wait for a moment that when we go out of India, right? And over here, without visa, without passport, all you need is a lot of energy and a lot of effort, which what seniors have put. And you have just just look forward it and eat, enjoy the music, name it, and you have it. You have fun. Entering Finland, one experienced the snowfall over you, while the representatives of Finland also had the igloo ready for you to take shelter in. Take a look at this traditional Finland dance that grasps the attention of even the other countries. And guess who these Chilean representatives were representing from the ancient times? The classroom wore the look of the dense Chilean vegetation where the students dressed as zombies surprised the visitors with their authentic makeover. song done helped narrate the history, tradition, culture, economy and politics of Chile. In the Turkey segment, students were seen lighting up the imaginary Nagail, a hookah culture using the Nagail bowls. In Poland, there was a presentation of the country's accounting practice. Some students also display the defense cultures of these countries. In Philippines, students dressed as Filipinos engage the visitors with the traditional couple dance. They also display their country's famous volcanic eruptions out of the mountains. In the classroom that was Nigeria, the student representatives turned the classroom floor into a football ground and displayed juggling skills. <laughs> Learning through exploring. While the theme was a tour across the globe, students said that this event taught them about the countries they would be venturing forth in the future as business partners. Right, the makeovers are really important. We always look for makeovers. And just imagine a class which has only desk, a class which has only white chalk and green board, is completely covered with colors, cultures and what not. You name it and you have it. Music, dance, culture, uh, research, knowledge, everything is combined. And don't you think that is really important for a student to, you know, uh, explore and learn? And that's how CMS works. Explore and learn. The students indeed learnt a lot though, exploring and also practically displaying what they learnt. Teachers, judges, students and visitors sway to the tunes. Moving to Philippines, one was totally lost in the dance moves of the students. Many cheer the folks. Other countries too had visitors swaying to the tunes. <laughs> Some 
countries attempted to even display their rural vegetation. One of the highlights was a recreation of the famous Iron Throne from the Game of Thrones. Students who organized the event said that it was a wholesome experience. So building this whole thing took, took us about three to four days, but about one month was taken in planning and everything. And we island people build a cage out here. We built four walls, we built a scary house, we built a Game of Thrones chair also, the Iron Throne, where everybody wants to sit once. To mark the visit a truly memorable one, the students also gave smiley badges. It took them one month of planning and three to four days to put up the show. See, around the classroom, we have used many re reused materials and we have really recycled many stuffs. And we believe this thing would have taken a lot of materials and would have harmed the Mother Earth. But we took the waste materials and made something out of the waste. So they, basically, IMD is a really fun concept and there's a lot of learning in IMD. It was an event the students of Jane College are not going to forget for a long time. Yuga Devaya for News 9, Bengaluru.